you want me to show you one of the biggest objections that you're probably going to start getting very soon? This is going to be one of the biggest objections you will get as the economy starts going down here in the next several months. Could even be weeks or a few months. We just don't know. Prospects are going to say, even though they like what you do, they're going to say, we just don't have the budget or we don't have the money for this or this is too expensive for us right now. Can you call back later when things improve? So if you hate competing on price, you don't like being commoditized, you're going to want to get your prospects into results-based thinking quickly versus price or cost-based thinking like most salespeople do. And you've got to do that from the very first words and questions out of your mouth. You'll say something like this, do you want me to show you in the buy board what to do? Come over here, I'll show you real quick. Prospect says, hey, we just don't have the money or the budget for this. Could be B2C or B2B. You're going to say, yeah, that's not a problem. So first of all, you just agree with them to get them to let their guard down. you got to say that slowly and pause. You don't want to say, that's not a problem, and start talking. You want to say, yeah, that's not a problem. Um, tell me, if you did have the funds, is this something that would work for you? Curious tone. Okay. Now, if I'm selling B2C, probably funds. If I'm selling B2B, I'm probably going to say funding. Don't say budget. If you sell B2B, if you sell B2C or B2B, do not say budget. Do you know why you don't want to say budget? Tell me if you did have the budget. Okay, budget is limited. It is a capped way of thinking, okay? Funds or funding is not necessarily capped. It sounds like, "Oh, funding to start a business or funds for this." Budget is a capped word. You don't want your prospects thinking they have to be at a cap. You want them to think results-based thinking, not budget thinking. Big difference there. So I'm going to say, yeah, that's not a problem. Um, tell me, if you did have the funding, is this something that would work for you? Notice how I verbal paused and paced that out. Now we're going to show you how to do that in this cool little book called the NEBQ Black Book of Questions. Do you want a copy? I'm going to go over that in a minute if you want it. You don't have to get it, all right? Then the prospect might say, yeah, for sure, but we just don't have the money, okay? And then you're going to say something like this. Yeah, and I can appreciate that money might be an issue from what you told me. I guess, how do you feel you can resolve that so you can find the funds so that you can, and then you're going to repeat back what they said they wanted. Let me do that again. Pay attention to my tonality and my body language, okay? Yeah, and I can appreciate that money might be an issue from what you mentioned to me. I guess, how do you feel you can resolve that so you can find the funds so that you can? And you repeat back what they said. Now, notice I said feel instead of think. Why would I say feel? Because you want your prospects to stay on their emotional side of the brain because that's how they make buying decisions. If you say think, where would their brain go? Think is logical brain thinking. You want them to stay in emotional thinking, all right? I'm asking, how do you think you can resolve that where you can find the funds so that you can and you repeat back what they said they wanted? Notice how I'm tying in the funds and them getting the funding to what? getting what they said they wanted. If they can get the funding, they get what they want. If they can't get the funds, they don't get what they want. See how I'm tying that into the result they said they wanted. See how that works? Now there's more to that depending on what they say there, but you're gonna have a lot of them say, oh, I could use a credit card or maybe I could get a loan or they could shift the money from something else they were currently spending that on over to your solution. Or if you sell B2B, a lot of times moving the funds from a different department budget to your solution to buy it. We can show you all of that right here in this crazy little black book. So if you hate having so many of your prospects say the price is too high, or we don't have the money for it, or it's too expensive, then you're probably gonna to wanna to prepare yourself for those type of objections. I know you already get them right now, but when the economy starts going down, you're gonna get them what? A lot more. Now, do you wanna know how to deal with that and also help prevent that objection from actually happening? Because what I just showed you here was just a little nibble of what we can show you in this book the black book of questions, the NEPQ black book of questions, where you're going to learn specific skilled questions, much better questions than maybe what you've been forced to use right now. They're going to help tweak your current script 
from the start of the conversation to the end to the close of your sales process and it's built to thrive in any economic condition even in the middle of a recession which we all know even the news is saying is coming down the road if it's not already here now it's what actually even helped me just so you know when I was a salesperson like you do you remember the crash of 2008 2009 well in the crash I made a bit over 1.3 million that year in commissions in a crash and during my sales career it helped me make a bit under 33 million in straight commissions that was during a 17 year career as a sales rep like you working for companies now I know you're like Jeremy who cares you made that money because your hair looks cool or maybe you think my hair sucks that's besides the point it's already helped a bit under well actually I think a bit over now 509,000 salespeople who are just like you they drink water like you they eat food like you they have trials and tribulations like you and in fact that's in 158 different industries including yours and it's helped them become amongst the top selling reps in their companies many of them are now top 1% earners in their entire industries and we're talking huge industries like yours so do you want the book click the link below could be down here by my knees my sides my head I don't know where the marketing people put all these links I'm just the boring guy that does the training here at seventh level click the link below we're gonna email this to you now if you don't get it in your inbox where do you go check your spam folder because I know some of you are gonna be like Jeremy we didn't get the black book what are you gonna you're horrible we hate you it's a scam we didn't get it and then you're gonna email customer service and they're gonna say did you check your spam and you're like uh uh and you're gonna go check your spam and pff, it's right there so you're not gonna be one of those type of people are you click the link below check all your emails and open up the book because you got to use it how can you get results if you don't do anything with it open up the book start using it and notice how your prospects start to really let their guard down and become far more open to you than they've ever been which is going to help you do what make a lot more money and more importantly help them solve their problems and get what they want I think you're going to enjoy this and by the way you're welcome